The project that we're here working on today is a first step to investigate mycorrhizal fungi in the roots of cereal crops. So looking at winter wheat here. The interaction between crops and mycorrhizas is ubiquitous. So all the cereal crops that we plant are going to become colonized by these fungi and they can be really important for nutrient uptake. But surprisingly, what we don't know is how important they are, how abundant they are, and how widespread and diverse they are. So this project is a first step to look at those factors. What this project is aiming to do, we're collecting root samples from farmers across the country. They're gonna send those to the Crop Science Center, and then we're gonna analyze those and we can quantify the amount of mycorrhizal fungi in those roots of those wheat plants. got a healthy root system here, really dense network of roots, and all of this stuff will be really nicely colonized by mycorrhizal fungi. It's only a few centimeters, maybe five or 10 centimeters below the soil surface, but I think we're still gonna have a really nice, healthy, diverse mycorrhizal community in here. It's the soil at the very top of the soil, sorry, it's the fungi at the very top of the soil that won't be very well colonized. This is where you've got big changes in moisture, in temperature, and so that sort of zone you won't get so much colonization, but down under here, much healthier community. So we've dunked the roots in the water, all with the soil there. What we want now is to get that soil nice and wet so it can just come away easily from the root system. We want to keep that root system as intact as possible so that we can sample from that. And the amount of time in the water is all gonna depend on your soil type. So sandier soil obviously is gonna come away much more cleanly quickly than a clay or soil. So just judge this by eye and see how easily it comes away. But up to 30 minutes is fine. Sometimes maybe an hour it might need just soaking in cold water. Okay, now that we've got our plants in and we've washed the soil off the roots, we need to make sure they're nice and dry before sending them for analysis. So just with a piece of folded kitchen paper here, getting the roots as dry as we can so that they can be put into sample tubes. Making sure we keep our three plants separate so that we've got three root systems here and then with a strong pair of scissors just cutting five centimeter sections out of these roots on all three of our plants. And once we've done that what we need to do is cut our samples in half again so we end up with six sub samples. So we get two from each plant here. And then half of each root sample is going to go into our wet sample tube. And this is the one that we'll use for root colonization so we can see how much fungus is in here. And we need to make sure that we tighten up that lid nice and tight so that we don't have storage solution leaking in the post. So make sure that lid's on nice and tightly. And then the other half of our root system sample is gonna go into our dry sample tube, which is full of the little orange silica gel beads. So just pop them in there. And then again, make sure the lid done up nice and tightly. Well, uh, we're really grateful for you, Tom, for coming along today and sharing us how to sample the, um, uh, the wheat plants like this. I mean, this is a really, really important study. Uh, and I think, if I'm right in saying, Tom, this is the first study of its, of its type? That's right, yeah. 
So we get our first nationwide samples of mycorrhizas in cereal roots. And what's going to happen from here on then? So once these samples arrive at the Crop Science Centre, I'll be analysing them and we'll be quantifying the amount of mycorrhizal fungi in the roots and then we'll be presenting the first data from this at the Groundswell Conference from our Crop Science Centre stand and I think we have a speaker slot as well so come and find out how much mycorrhizas are in the roots. Well that's great, so when you come along to Groundswell we'd really love to see you uh, and we'll present your results, so see you then.